Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dimitris Yakopoulos. I'm a vascular registrar in Mother Hospital. Uh, the paper that we will go to discuss uh, today, it was published in uh, last issue in the European Journal of Vascular and Vascular Surgery. It called Stroke and Death Rates Following Carotid Artery Standing and Carotid and Rectum and Code Variant with Stable Data Set uh, Registries, and it is a systematic review. The aim of this uh, paper is to compare the stroke and death rates <coughs> after carotid standing versus carotid arterectomy in contemporary registry and also to examine if the rates are within in the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association uh, thresholds and also to examine if it had been a decline over time uh, in the procedure risk. Uh, the review was performed based in PRISMA statement and uh, it included symptomatic and uh, it, it, it included registry with symptomatic and asymptomatic patients during the years 2008 to, to 2015, and approximately 1.5 million procedures were included. The results: uh, only 20, uh, only 21 administrator registries were uh, included, and uh, they were divided in, into four subgroups. The first group. Uh, was uh, about uh, asymptomatic patients with uh, uh, an average risk for carotid anterectomy, uh, for carotid anterectomy. and in 11 of the 21 uh, uh, registries that uh, they were included, carotid standing has had a significant increased risk than the carotid anterectomy, <laughs> and in 9 of the 21 uh, registries, uh, the carotid standing had uh, 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 had more uh, had increased risk of uh, stroke and death than the guidelines of the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association uh, had uh, uh, reached. The, uh, the second subgroup was uh, uh, for symptomatic patients with an average risk for carotid anterectomy, and, and in the 11 of the 18 registries that uh, they were included. The carotid standing had also a significant higher risk of stroke and death, and in 13 of 18 uh, registries, the risk of carotid artery st uh, standing had exceeded the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association threshold limits. In the third group, that uh, there were included asymptomatic patients in a higher risk for carotid arterectomy, uh, only one of the three uh, registries that uh, they were included. Uh, the carotid artery standing had increased, significantly increased risk of stroke and death. And in the last group that uh, include uh, symptomatic patients with a high risk for carotid arterectomy, uh, two, on, uh, two of the three registers that they were included, the risk of uh, hospital in the, uh, the, for hospital or in 30-day 30, 30 death and stroke rate was higher in uh, CAS in uh, carotid standing and also uh, the, these registries had a, a, a rate of stroke or death from 80 to uh, 14 percent. So, uh, uh, the carotid standing has a significant uh, higher uh, uh, procedure stroke and death risk than the carotid anterectomy. Uh, only uh, about 75 percent of the registries. Uh, the stroke and death rate was exceed of uh, eight, uh, of American Heart Association and American Stroke Association threshold, and uh, also in 28 percent of the registries, the death and the stroke rate was over 10 uh, percent. <coughs> this uh, review had had some limitation. Uh, the registries that uh, they were including, some of them had potential selection or reporting bias, and also uh, the a protection device. It wasn't used in a carotid standing, or there was no information about that, and also some patients uh, came from overlapping. Thank you very much.